everyone. My name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to assign manufacturers data to a wire. By default SolidWorks Electrical out of the box is already set up with various different wire styles as you can see on my screen and my project over here. However, these wires over here have no manufacturer's data assigned to it yet. And sometimes you want to show this in your reports or in your bill of materials. So let's have a closer look at what information we have at the moment. If I would go to my schematic and go to my single line or my wire style manager, I can see that I've got my 24 volt AC control signal and if I double click that over here this is the information that is currently assigned to the wire style. So I can route this inside SolidWorks 3D um, and what it will do is it will give me the length, it will give me the description or the name and that's about it. What we can do however is we can link this wire to a cable reference. So if we go to cable reference over here and I'm going to filter out on just single conductor in the cable, you can see that there is a quite a bit of choice that we've got to select from. Now just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to select the top one over here. So that will be a one and a half millimeter squared cable and it automatically assigns the manufacturer to this. Of course, if you cannot find your cable in there or your wire, yeah, your cable in there, you can automatically, or you can add that to the database if you want to. I'm just gonna select this top one here. And note that it automatically asks me, what does it need to do with the cable core description? So you can assign that either to the description up here or to the translatable data, which is down here. So it will automatically copy that over. Well, I would like to leave my 24 volt AC signal over there, so I might choose the translatable data. Note that automatically, as soon as the cable reference was added, that my diameter has gone up to 5.5 mil, and my section is still 1.5 millimeter squared. So it will automatically change this as well. There is no wire collar assigned, um, because it's probably not been assigned to the manufacturer's data. So I can choose up here, if I want to have the color green. Now clicking on OK and closing this off, close this. Let's have a look at our reports. So if I go to project and left click on reports, at the moment I have no, I cannot really see any manufacturer's data in my report yet. I can only see the color. Now in my last video, I've showed you how to sort cables by color and then give it the total length of that color. We can do exactly the same thing, but now on um, cable reference. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to its properties of this report over here. So left click on properties. I will go to columns over here. And I'm going to simply add another column. To add another column, we right click over here. And we're going to use the cable reference from line type. And we might want to move that up a little bit. I'm just going to move that before the length. Okay. So the cable reference is in here now. Just going to click on apply. Close this off. We have to just refresh this report. So I'm just going to go to one tab and then back here. And the cable reference should automatically come in. So let's have a quick look if it's actually added. Cable reference, yep, it's there. So we might just need to close this and open the reports up again. There we go. If I open this up now, you can see that the cable reference has now been added to all my 24 volt signals. So now you've got your manufacturer's data inside the list of wires by line style. That's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching, guys.